Hey guys, Computer here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build this 1.16 inspired temple. Now, just before I start this video, I want to say that tomorrow, 4 to 5, I'm going to be doing my one hour live stream with support. Uh, we want to do an end busting, but if he's not there, then I'm most likely just going to be building on my base, something like that. So, yeah. We have six stages. First two stages over here is foundation. So we go from the bare bones of it up to the main foundation. And then three and four is placing in the cyan wall on the crimson, crimson stems or the stripped crimson stems and the stripped crimson hyphae. Step five is your standard temple. So I've made a time lapse of building up to that. We'll go into that in one moment. Step six is not necessarily needed, but it's lighting and decoration. Now lighting and decoration you can do however you want. So if you go inside, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. At least to me, it looks beautiful, right? But if you at least have this, you can decorate however you want. An example of decoration, I'll show you with this one. Over here is out of black stone, black wool and everything. So what I've done, I've decorated in my own way, but I use the same foundation up to the standard method, but in a different color and then decorate however you want. So yeah, it looks beautiful, so beautiful. And I'm probably gonna be building this one specifically on the Corrington Craft server but well, hopefully because I really want this but I don't have black wool on my sheep wool farm but yeah so let's hop back over there now I've already built this in the time lapse but you guys haven't seen it yet so let's hop straight into it
Alright guys, so off that time lapse you see that I've been able to build this thing. A little bit of error everywhere, but to make it look good like this, you don't have to copy this exact design, this exact way of building it. You build it however you want. You well you build it to at least this, whatever colours and stuff you want. But decoration it's all up to you. My decoration here, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. At least to me, as I said. So let's try and transform this. So let's just take some stairs. And let's, let's just start with some stairs, really. So all we want to do is make it look like these are uh, the stands sort of thing. I'm trying to keep it more structural. Because we have these rods up here to try and look structural. But when you make it, we need to have a bit more foundation, if you know what I mean. Just to make it look that a little bit better, more like a temple, really. Because we don't want, if this was real life, we don't want it to collapse on us. Because when this is really weak, to be holding up this thing. So all we have to do is just place in some stairs all around it. And that's already foundation, but we want to make it more structurally well strong. So just placing some up here, all the way around on each uh, archway to give it that nice opening entrance. So we just place all around it. We don't we don't really need it, but as I said, just to look nice, just to look good. Then after this we can try something else. It's maybe something I haven't done. Because I I really like these temples. I think I'm gonna make like twenty of this in the Corinthian Cross server. We have like events or different bases. This could be really good for actually storage bases or maybe like a nether base. I mean obviously it's extremely flammable. Literally everything except for the glass would break. From is the oh was it so long and so on top of wool they would burn in the fire. Anything that was lost would be the glass. Now if we take the lanterns and if we try and go to that sort of design, simply you take this, take this, maybe some of these. All you have to do go here, build up like that. So lanterns all the way around. I'm not going to do all the sides. Maybe just one or two of them. So if we then go like that. Keep going like this. This is a very simple process if you're in creative. If you're in survival, different situation. Now that looks quite nice. But if we try and go and use some chains. We put chains on top of these like we did with the blackstone one. And then we go all the way like this. Let's see how that looks. Hmm. That looks alright. I'm not a big fan of it. So if we remove these chains. Because this temple is not blackstone. It's not meant to be that really get dark stuff. So I think this is actually quite nice. Now I want to do the exact same thing on this side. I'm not going to do the other two sides though. We just want to make it look good. This isn't for any functional stuff. Not unless we build a coin cross server. Or any other Minecraft world really. Because I'm actually thinking of starting to make like sort of an underground city sort of map. But... I'm not sure what I want to actually do there, but I'm thinking if I do something like uh, what I'm doing here, I think I'll look really good. So I have like sort of temple amongst all the rocks and everything falling. So basically a really nice looking temple in a falling underground world. I think that would be a decent concept. As you can see I've put on top and on the sides here that looks really nice. Like it did on the blackstone one over there. Now we also want to sort out this top part here. 
simply put fences around it like this not there all the way like that and then four up here and one at the very top just to give it a bit more height so 26 and a half and look at that from the just just this tiny transformation we've made it look really really nice now another way that we can do i think we can remove should we remove i'm not sure i'm thinking if we place here and then maybe around there that look good i think so i'll try it on this side or on this side as well Actually, it looks quite nice. Now, I want to make this thing have a bit more shape in it. So, we're just going to try and curve it around a little bit more. Make it look less blocky, even though this is a world of blocks. It's a weird build, but it's really fun to do. So, look at that. Look at that. We just go with a basic of this, just that, and then we transform it into this. That's just really nice to me lighting you do however you want really what I'm doing I'm just putting it here oh and we also actually need to put some foundation right in the center which is holding up all these support stands let me put all of those up here and then we put these up here stuff like that now on the one over here we actually have like bars of trying to make it look a bit more like refined but we also have these here but I'm not gonna go with that for this one this one's different but I suggest going with this light lighting pattern if you go with one of these two builds but yeah that's how you make a beautiful beautiful 1.16 inspired temple now any other youtubers watching this uh, I challenge you I challenge you to make a 1.16 inspired temple with this basic design and post a video on the six different steps onto building it and going back here time lapsing and making your own design and making a design with other blocks over there but for now Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.